Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Big JB. I am adjusting my camera here. I am so, so, so excited to play this game. Um, this is a remaster of Full Throttle, one of my all-time favorite games. And uh, I'm just going to give a shout-out to my chat audience here. Lashadra, of course, is in the chat room. Gazebo, hanging out. Dude, it's been too long. Good to see you, man. Uh, so we're going to play this. So the cool thing about this, so this is a remastered version I got off of Good Old Games. They have um, remastered um, a couple different things here um, that I want to silence this. I wish I could, let me see if I can make this quiet for a second. Mute. Okay. Hopefully you guys can still, can still hear me. So they, um, <clears throat> The remastered Day of the Tentacle and uh, a few other LucasArts games. Good Old Games has also got, you know, a ton of other great stuff um, that they're featuring um, lately. And this game is absolutely one of my all-time favorites. Um, it seems like my ca I can't get my camera right. There we go. And, um, man, it's I'm so thrilled to be able to start it. So you're going to be able to play in um, a couple different modes here. Uh, if you go into the options, you can actually see that uh, for the features, we can turn the art from remastered to the original or classic uh, if you want to play that again, which is awesome on its own if you really, really want the full-on retro experience. Um, other cool thing that I found here is um, that in the bonus section, they've got a jukebox, and all this stuff is locked, and I assume that you're able to unlock stuff as you go on. So I haven't really played with it much yet. I'm not going to worry too much about it right now because I want to get into this get into this game. So, without further ado, let me unmute it here and on we go. Oh, so excited! Whenever I smell asphalt. I think of Marine. Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked that's you, so Rip. Good. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why? Thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. Yes, it is Mark Hamill. Very well spotted, Lashadra. That voice that you're hearing of Ritberger is indeed uh, Mark Hamill. Great job well spotted and there is a voice uh you'll recognize i think probably recognize another one those of you who have never seen the game before um but are still cartoon fans you should recognize it coming up here soon too so just for the sake of letting you see what the classic was like i'm gonna switch over to the classic view they have a remastered day of the tentacle jazz you can get it from good old games you can actually you can get it from the app store okay so i just switched back to classic so i'll let you guys see what that looked like for a little bit what do you know about our customers adrian you've never even been on a bike well you know i'd be on one right now sir if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition ah your ears are fine it's what's between them that scares me Okay, so that's what it that's what it looked like before. I'm gonna switch back because we're gonna, we're gonna get into some cool, cool looking stuff. Um, you can tell even though it's very pixelated that the graphics were amazing. You know, the graphics they did, they did a really good job of putting it together. And at the time, it, I mean, it, it, this clearly looks like an animated cartoon. 
at the time, that was pretty rare to have something that was quite this, quite this good. So, right? See what Shagra said in the chat room? It still looks great. It totally does. Okay, let's get back to it. some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. So much like so much like the By the Gone Jackals. I probably never heard of that. And uh, how's the uh, how's the audio quality now? Balanced a little better. Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in so big amazing. trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today Those to teeth. offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not mm. interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea.
And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders' meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Ripperger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rotwheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. I mean, I'm not talking much, but as a matter of too fact, good. he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Corbill, here we come. No, Lashandra, the driver isn't Marvin the Martian. You'll hear it again, but... So keep listening. Okay, so here we go. We're in, with the controls. So, shift does the object highlight. I don't know that I'll use that too much. Um, backspace, skipping the bike fight. Oh, just wait. I'm sure we're going to have plenty of those. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to know? Steer bike, steer car... Walk to open verb. Are you okay over there? I'm fine. Yeah, it's okay. My son's just. <laughs> you okay there, Hellboy? <laughs> I'll show you guys what this looks like. Let's just let's just go. I'm not using a PS4. Let's go. Okay. So when you mouse over things, I love the fact that it looks like crosshairs. Uh, you'll see the little red thing. Um, let's see there. Okay, so you don't see it. You do see it. You don't see it. You do see it. Whee! So I'm clicking, and it's doing stuff. What could be happening? Let's try. There we go. I, I know what I'm doing here. Okay, so we got the dumpster. There's a bunch of different things I can do. I can kick it punch it or grab it look at it taste it so let's see what he says when you try to taste the dumpster I'm not putting my lips on that <laughs> yeah <laughs> I should remember that uh, my son too he's not watching but I'm not putting my lips on that I love it I can't see any use for those welcome to point and click they're the empty everybody I've woken up and worse. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. <laughs> As if he'd really care. All right. So... The kickstand. R really? That's that's it? I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. Open up. Open up. Gotta think like a biker. I, uh... Fixed your door. <laughs> it was sticky. <laughs> Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. I fixed your door. Looks like you're out of customers. That's also yeah, talking. Yeah, gang talk off with those those well dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac?
Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? Tell you what, how about we do this? You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Look, man, <laughs> here are your keys, all right? You know what? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole, Gantz? I'd better get moving. <laughs> you know what looked better at the bar? Are you on your nose? <laughs> the bar. I love it. Let's see, what can we do here? Yeah, right. Play. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. Play. <laughs> the monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal was piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. All right. Let's do it. Keys. So many memories. I played this game for the first time when I was at when Sierra. I'm on the road. I'm indestructible. I loved it. I still do. No one can stop me. But they try. Uh. Hey, ain't you the A number one polecat hot show? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh, heavens. Whatever will we do? <laughs> Don't spoil it for her, Jeff. That does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Okay, so here is where the, the combat takes place. Just gotta kick enough times to knock his bike over. I was saying don't spoil it for her, because Jeff in the chat was, just gave the actor, but he didn't say the character. That's what I wanted to know. Oh no! His bike, his wheel fell off. And you'll hear his voice. Oh, I'd like to make you just something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Coley's dying wish. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, uh, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything.
What are you? I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. <laughs> That's okay. That seems very similar. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. Melon people weed. either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new new, just not broken into little pieces. <laughs> you could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. <laughs> Who around here would do a thing like that? She's super helpful, right? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Uh, let's see. I don't have any money to pay you with. I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? <laughs> There's going to be an ambush. Ambush? Who's ambushing who? Not sure, but my gang's involved. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Well, I'll let you get back to work. All right. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Gas can. Let's put our lips on it. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, fine. Let's just take it then. Let's look at the photograph. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. Mink but farmer. I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Mmm, a clue, a clue. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> Alright, let's go poke around see what we can find. Oh good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Um, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! <laughs> Could you give me a ride in your car? 
I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Hmm. Miranda. I owe her better than that. <laughs> Dang it. I owe her better than that. Mailbox. <laughs> he just closes it. Oh, that's awesome. All right, well, let's keep meandering here through the good old melon weed. Oh, where's she going? <gasps> she lied. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. <laughs> now I got a quote for you. Yeah, these games were really, they really were ahead of their time. I'm, I miss this. I, was, I totally agree. Um, Jazz says in the chat room that misses or that they're ahead of the time he misses the genre and and i'm in the same boat i've played a few point and click things on the ipad recently but they just don't stack up they're just not as good all right hey look watch right here there's gonna be a little light there i think ah look kind of looks like it might be a torch light let's go find out Let's go talk to Todd. He lives across from the junkyard. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very subcode wiring. <laughs> song is hilarious. Smells like burning metal down there. Hello? 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 <laughs> hmm. No. The lyrics of this song are crazy. Probably all that's holding this dump up. Lishandra, I totally agree. She says, this makes me want to be an idiot and have an adventure in the countryside at dusk. Word. A peek in the window. It's even sadder looking inside. <laughs> Sandbox? Apparently this guy has a dog. <laughs> you know what that means. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Who's out there? Hey, I hear you already. Hey, I hear you already. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need. Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, I hear you already. Hey, how about we kick the door down? Watch as I... Bam! This is like it's huge. It's Todd. Let's kiss him. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough. All right, so what can we find here? Wouldn't look good on my bike. Cabinet. Let's open up the cabinet. Ooh, a lockpick. That'll come in handy. Okay, what else can we click on? Refrigerator. Oh, there's meat. Let's take the meat. Ooh, it's a secret elevator. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Folks are mostly disfigured or 
Better hustle this back to Mo. Where's the radio? My mama's face has dripped down Can't get up into there. the dirt. All right, I'll just take the torch. <laughs> Grin on his face. That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, little gas, and we're set. All right. Now. Mm, save. That's important. As with all adventure games, save often. Okay, so let's go check out the junkyard next. Heavy looking. Open up, Todd. Todd's knocked out. Open up, Todd. Gazebo, good to see you again, man. There will be more, and I'll put this up on YouTube as well. You guys like my overlay? Isn't this cool? A friend of mine made it for me. I love it. Tough looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. Hmm, good thing I have a lockpick, huh? Oh, even the sound effects are the same. Ah, now, I happen to know that I need this lock. I also happen to know that if I touch this, an alarm is going to go off. Back here and hide in the shadows. Here come the police. Remain where are you? Hey, I don't see anybody. Maybe nobody's there. Look who set off the alarm. Boy. Maybe someone is just fooling with us. Ah, uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, you can hold this thing still while I'm shooting. I'm going down for a closer look. Oh boy. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Oh, I'm missing something. Missing something. So instead of going up to the tower, what I'm going to do is siphon the fuel from here, but I forgot I need a hose. I'm not putting my lips on that. Let's use steak on it. That's not one of meat's many uses. <laughs> That's not one. Okay. Okay, now let's see if we can siphon I'm not putting my lips on that. Alright. Well, I forgot the hose from Todd, so we're going to have to go back and get it. 
Put everything back. I think it's Todd's anyway. We'll go find out. or a tube or something. Let's go downstairs. We can hear this song even louder. That's fantastic. I thank the Lord each day for the apocalypse. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. <laughs> I don't collect art. I also don't collect whatever that my is. My mama's face has dripped down into the dirt. Let's see. Where is a hose? I'm still chasing Chitlin's whiskey and skirt. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. I'd rather just get out of here. Maybe it's at Maureen's. Okay, well, let's go back there. Yeah, they'll be gone by the time I get to the, uh, by the time I get back to the gas station, <laughs> the gas depot. I'll have to do that scene over again. Time many times. The first time I ever did this, I time many times I tried. It was way, way too many. Where I was just like, I just do not understand what I'm doing wrong. I don't understand. <laughs> oh no, they're still there. Look. Alright, what, what do we got here? Let's see if we can find a hose. I'll wait till she's done. Where is it? Maybe I do have to go through the junkyard first. Well, let's, let's go give it a shot. I was sure that you could find it at Todd's. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Jazz um, in chat room says, um, so what frustrated me about these games, get stuck for hours because of one pixel you missed hovering over and discovering something important. Exactly. And I think that is probably why they didn't uh, continue. People got tired of that. Although there's a lot of nostalgia for these. So let's lock this door in place, let's say. Now yeah, let's try climbing the chain. Ooh, and that great MIDI music. Awesome. Ah, uh, junk. Hmm. There was a junkyard dog. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Well, that's a great point, Nishadra. She says, nostalgia often overlooks flaws. Hoo! I love the way it jumps. Let's start looking around here. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Cars, no thank you. Okay, so there's the junkyard dog. This this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> He's running. Down. Bad dog. <laughs> All right, so we've got that problem to contend with. Let's go look at the parts pile. Just the kind of forks I need, Ooh. right on top. Uh oh, here he comes. <laughs> Down. Who needs dogs? Alright, so, we are gonna have to... ...deal with that dog. I wonder what we could possibly do with it. Might have something to do with those cars, what do you think? Mm, okay, wait, I need to figure out how to get up into this. Ta aha. No, what? Ah. You use the stake. You gotta use the stake on the car. Because that's what you do when you're trying to start your car, right? You rub it down, down. the stake. No. I meant just to... Nope. That doesn't work. Bad either. dog. Just trying to skip that, but... Mm, no. to realize that he needs to lure the dog in to where he's trying to go. Let's see. So now we've established that we know what we're doing, so now I, I know that you have to put it in the I know that you have to put it in a car. How did you get all the way over there, Ben? Oh, so we're gonna take the long way this time. Okay. Take the scenic route. Excuse me. No, why? Why are we... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, so, let's see, time to figure out what we're doing wrong here, what I'm doing wrong. 
Truffle, Throttle, Steak. <clears throat> no, <coughs> this isn't it either. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, I have to get a lozenge. I'll be right back. <laughs> Yes, lozenges is not one of meat's many uses. This is thrilling stuff, right? Okay. Let's see. The gas tower. Mm. Let's see what it says. Not the gas tower. Hmm. So I found, let's see, the junkyard put the meat inside one of them. <clears throat> well, okay. You know what, maybe what we'll do is we'll just put it in the closest one. Because the instructions say it's essentially locked in. Okay, run away, dog. About this one, man. Right here, here so. Poochie Pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, mud. Okay, now. See, I wasn't far off. Oh, I'm off camera. Sorry. Nice and up in the air. All right. Now we can go get our forks. What's what's happening, Ben? Well, how did he get down there? Oh, oh, okay. The great teleporting biker. It's a good TV show. I've, I've seen the latest episodes of that one. <clears throat> nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Just gotta gas her up and go. 
Oh, Ben. All right, so apparently the hose is in here. Ah, right there, look at that. I thought it was part of that thing. But it weren't. Tonight's lozenge of choice is Ricola. Honey and herb. Probably my favorite, actually. I love them. Hey, look, the cops are still there. Jeez, those guys. Let's save, shall we? And then let's go in and mess up. Don't think so. Oh, okay. He's not interested in doing that. Well. We'll use the hose on the tailpipe. And we'll use the gas can on the tailpipe. I have never seen a gas can like that for what it's worth. No. Uh, so what I meant to do. Uh, let's put our lips on that. Well, oh, it doesn't quite go hey, in the gas can. Who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get it. Where? Watch him run. Watch the over house. there. Quick. You go around the other side, and we'll have him cornered. <laughs> Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. Reinforcements. Ben's not bad. It's not bad. Go straight <clears throat> forward. Oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Well, that's it. <laughs> Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish you up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Ben, stop. Let's see if taking a slightly different direction. Unless that's not a slightly different direction at all. Nope, I was wrong. So, 
if I move an arrow up here, it's all the same thing. Isn't it? Aha! What brought the cops the last time? Why touching the tower, of course. What's going to bring them this time? Why touching the tower, of course. for a nothing town like that. I don't even think we have that many cops in our town. See you later, Melonweed. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Uh-oh. Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a tank full When she blew my gasket I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above it's a woman with wheels that I love. <sighs> Come on, old man. I got ya. Now, do something incriminate, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. <gasps> oh. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. <laughs> it's got a camera. I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now hmm. then, Malcolm. Plot how point. about one for the road? Corley? Corley. Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! minivans. Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. <gasps> Maureen? Uh-oh. Ripburger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Mo's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat him. Recognize that voice yet, Lashanka? Second thought, maybe I didn't. Mm. 
Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture Very well of her done. and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. It That's pretty much my the only brain. need right now. It is the brain. Looks like someone nice searched job. this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris. Yeah, yeah. Except for that smashed up camera. Okay. I'm gonna go to the, the mink ranch. The Shadra guessed the, the voice actor, the character, correctly. It is indeed Brain from Pinky and the Brain. I am very proud because in our family we pride ourselves on knowing voices. Because Dad, as in me, <laughs> is somewhat obsessed with voices. Vo voice actors and characters and whatnot. I know that truck is there and everything. Let's just let's keep going through town. Let's see if we can find the new branch. Your friend Lashadra has just started watching. Well, hi. <laughs> so much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Hmm, well, I guess it's back to the kickstand after all. You don't know who got what guys? Bill Shatner and Peter Falk? Oh, yeah you do. William Shatner, James D. Kirk. Yes, I saw that he did the the shrew in Zootopia, which is fine. Well, you'd never know because he changed his <laughs> changed his voice, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Look, I really need a ride. This sucker's mine. Look, I really need a ride. That's not happening. Okay. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop <laughs> just outside the town of Gets Mellonweed. Apparently, the, <laughs> the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. I love this guy, the trucker guy here. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll nick his hand. <laughs> He's got a knife. Hmm. I can do that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention Nixon's scratches. <laughs> <laughs> Have 
Am I distracting you? <laughs> That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Hmm. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Emmett's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quahog. Look. Let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Look, let me tell you what happened. Okay. I told you I don't want to get involved. So we got to figure out a way to get this guy. Let's see. Let's try, try using the picture on Quahog. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. Well, uh, I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. <laughs> weasel Down plantation. Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. Good talking to you. I need to get to this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty tonight. How poetic. Hmm. What could we do? This sucker's mine. with the tower again and see if we can lure them away. Let's find out. This part I am genuinely confused a lot. Not confused, just don't remember. didn't explore everything like we should have. I like how I say we, like you guys are part of us. Part of my mistake. It's a nice way of deflecting ownership. No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks.
My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Hmm. Well, handy, handy thing to know. I love that they did the Ben, you're my only hope. We can get away with it because they're LucasArts. Now, let's go see if it changes Emmett's mind to uh, have a fake ID. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, the shot of that reporter character is annoying. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the bed, Junk. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> we stopped moving. Problem with your truck? Yeah. <laughs> Loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Well, he's leaving awfully fast. Couldn't be up to anything, could he? Uh-oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Hmm. Well... The barn's locked. How about we just wander in there as slowly as possible? <clears throat> Come on, Ben. You can move faster than that. That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Pelt. Looks like a mink pelt. Bed. Rustic. Not after Mo made it so nice. <laughs> oh, he's so sentimental. There's a picture of Maureen and Malcolm. Looks like they're restoring an old hardtail together. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. Lots of bikes. Lots of bikes. Lots of bikes. Mm, okay. Lots of bikes. Okay, got it. Tough looking padlock. It's locked. Hmm. Do I have I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Whatever. No. Yeah, you do, Ben. You've got something. I know you do. This must be the window Maureen stared out of as a young girl. 
dreaming of her life repairing toasters. <laughs> I couldn't break that lock. It's locked. Well, he used to have a lockpick. What happened, Ben? I don't walk. That's not what I was suggesting. The barn's locked. Open up, you minx. <laughs> Won't work without a fuel line. No. Okay, I'm missing something. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. What the heck am I missing? I don't have anything. Here's another adventure game thing. <clears throat> I was inside and I looked at the bed, but I didn't. Apparently, it didn't count the pillow as part of it, so. Hey, look, there's a tire iron. And what will we do with the tire iron? Break open the chest, of course. I'd like to wrap this around Rip Burger's neck. I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Huh. Mo? Handy. Hey, look, there she goes.
That does it. He's dead. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. Cavefish territory, uh oh. Cavefish. He does have a Star Wars tat, I didn't even realize. Looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. They do like She's coming. Him. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing we need to do is grab a little fertilizer. Maybe I'll just take a little. Because it'll come in handy. I've touched it enough. Down the road. And then, I'm gonna mess up the truck. Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. Yeah, it'll all make sense in a moment. Where'd you, where'd you go, Ben? There we go. What a mess. Okay, there's a reason why we did that. I'll show you what it is. Because they're going to chase Ben. <clears throat> I'm controlling it right Look at him run. Yeah, you would have figured out that it was brain right there if you hadn't figured it out before. That's why. Boss, it was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the quarry million out of hiding with a bike. Boss, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. <laughs> now hurry. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it tonight, as I need to go to bed. 
gorge is where we will pick it up next time. Believe me, there will be a next time, because I cannot stop playing this game now. It's too good. Let's actually, let's go check to see if we got anything unlocked. Hey, Chitlin's Whiskey and Skirt. We got a bunch unlocked. Nice. Put my head in a basket, cause I... Concept art new. <clears throat> I unlocked them. No, oh, that's kind of cool. I'll have to look through that more later. All right. Well, folks, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Have a great night. I will see everybody next time. Great uh, overall, actually. Before I leave, overall, I totally, totally loved what I saw in this game. <clears throat> I really should have my face bigger on the screen, but I don't have time to make it that way. Um, it, they did a great job with this game uh, and remastering it, and it's so good to be playing it and sharing with everybody. So I hope you enjoyed it. Join me next time, and I will get this up on YouTube as soon as I can. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.